branches and sustainability, and uh, I really applaud what they're doing. However, I've heard in a number of our circles within our, um, uh, from our fellow academics, particularly at my university, that gas is often looked at as an interim step between between coal-fired power and, uh, and and perhaps things like uh, fault of uh, PV cells and uh, the yeah the the, the, the space in, in Spain and those sort of things like that the thermal space in Spain and so forth. Um, is there any reason why I, I came a little bit late? I'm just wondering why you just have not gas all together out of the equation in that we may not be able to get this straight away. We may have to take things in steps rather than rather than well, I think I think I could come at that question from different angles. But one one angle is that the um, the IEA, International Energy Agency, put out a report this year, which found that renewable energy production, energy production, will overtake gas production in 2016. That's when the gas transition's over, 2016. So there was a transition. We're at the end of it. It's hacking. Uh, and we don't need to go in that direction now. Uh, I think that the other other point of view really would be to say looking at climate change. Now, if you if you take a lot of the pathways that are developed to look at uh, avoiding two degrees of warming, they global emissions have to peak by twenty sixteen. You can't get emissions to peak by twenty sixteen if we go gas. But energy efficiency can do the heavy lifting today if we decide to do the kinds of measures in the buildings plan which are aimed at getting very deep cuts in emissions. Because at the end of the day, fossil gas produces emissions. But if you're going electricity, even if, even if you do this plan, with, you know, it does stand on its own even if you don't do it with the station energy plan. Because Things like the air conditioners, heat pump, hot water systems, induction cooktops already substantially reduce emissions on the gas alternatives. Um, so, so we can we can do that today, uh, but getting getting to gas free allows us also to get a generator own most of our own power as much as we need from solar PV. So really, it's a strategy that stands on its own um, and will help to cut emissions.